All right, I wanted to do one more video, maybe two, I don't know, but I wanted to show some really cool little, um, some cool websites that I found. Um, both are effectively free, I guess. One of them you can pay for, the other one is free, but I'm gonna go ahead and show those to you now. Let's start with the first one and kind of how, I don't do too much trading from this, um, but I have, I, I do like it because it, it does give me ideas. Um, and I'm all about ideas. The more ideas you have, I feel like the better ideas come to you. If that makes sense, it's like you have a you know, if you have a plethora of ideas, you can kind of pick and choose the best ones. And instead of just trying to come up with one really good idea, just take the best ones that are out there. So uh, toggle.ai, and I, I get nothing from sharing this. I mean, I, I don't got any. They don't. It doesn't cost money. It's free. You just go sign up. What I like about it is so cool. I've never seen that before. But you can go to this Explore tab here, and it's going to give you these like AI-generated insights uh, into uh, these ideas, and you can kind of set this filter. So it's like a little screener. And what I like to do is I like to just check out these popular insights just on different ideas and, and why uh, this computer decided it was a good idea and uh, see if I, I agree with it. But let's just take Etsy, since Etsy's a pretty good stock and people like it. Um, and it's probably gonna rip, probably gonna rip uh, because, you know, shop and Amazon and those kind of things are gonna be ripping soon. So this thing decided today was uh, 10 hours ago. It's a good idea to send out this little alert. Uh, Etsy's earnings yield reached a high, recent high of 0.01. In the past, this led to an increase in price. So it's interesting how it found this idea was just that, it had found, it found a, a correlation here with its earnings yield. Um, that's something that you know, probably some really good analysts could probably figure out too. But you know, that's just just really cool. So then it gives you, you know, when it says equity yields indicators of Etsy reached a recent high. Historically, this led to immediate increase in Etsy's price of 33% over three months. Is it shown in the chart below? In other words, it went up 33% or more at least half the time. In the conclusion is based on four similar, similar con uh, con occasions in the past where this occurred, most recently in August of last year, and our quality assessment is reads a five out of eight stars. I don't really care about their, I don't care about their quality assessment, but I do like the stock, and, and that is an interesting little insight into uh, what could possibly happen. Um, the projection above shows the expected price path derived from the past episodes over three month horizon. So it's given you uh, not it's given you the reason, it's given you some statistics on it, and it's given you a chart based on the last, in this case, four similar occasions. Uh, now this isn't the only reason why something would go up. It's just finding a it's just finding a correlation. It's just finding a pattern here that a lot of people probably wouldn't see or might not see till later. Uh, displays a confidence intervals expanding boxes around the line. The actual price path would stay within these boundaries. The red line signals nice price action is too far from the expected path. The insight is invalidated. So if you see, this is basically, I don't know, they're giving themselves a wide error, uh, a margin of error here. But if you see Etsy under 161, obviously, this has been invalidated. But, because that's a 60 point drop. I doubt Etsy's dropping 60 points anytime soon. But I like this little cloud here. It's just kind of telling you, look, I mean, this basically is telling me I can go out in April, buy the 250 calls, and be okay. And then I, then what I'll do is I'll come over here and just, just take a look at the chart. You know, what chart does this look similar to? And, you know, to like its sister stocks and stuff like that. And let's just see. And what kind of pattern does it, does it set? It just kind of does this like, this wavy pattern. Right now it's on an up and up. And it just broke out of the, a weekly close. So what I would do here is we'll just go here and just like, let's just do a quick measurement here. This last little uh, breakdown here and break out. And I'm, I expect it to travel along a path similar to this. Yeah, very possible that this could see 250 in three months. So it gives you a time period. It gives you some rules. It gives you uh, 
you know, it gives you some some parameters here to know if this trade is good or not. So on a dip today, it would have been a great time to go ahead and buy the 250s or 240s for just call it earnings, I guess would be pretty good. And you have yourself the makings of a decent trade. So this is why I like this. And then you can do this for penny stocks. Okay, I think I got that X, but you can do this for penny stocks. If you're a penny trader, you just want to do undervalued stocks, you're more of a value trader. It's going to give you some ideas there. I'm, I'm, I like penny stocks. Single stocks, so you got some ideas here. For stocks I've never heard of, but uh, that's another cool thing is I could learn a little bit about um, what kind of eight hours ago we got DFIN, never ever traded, I didn't even know it existed. But political stability is weak. This past led an increase. So, uh, just interesting ideas. I saw one of my one of my uh, trading mentors, Ripster Forty Seven, was uh, trading this today. So, uh, I, I'm sure he didn't find that trade with Toggle. But uh, very interesting. This says valuations indicators of Canadian solar reached a recent high. Historically, this admitted, led to a median increase of 73% over six months. So there's another cool idea. You can just buy some shares. It's projecting 108 um, over six months. So and here's kind of the expected path it would potentially take. So very interesting. Uh, so check check out Toggle. So that's the first one I wanted to talk about. The second one is Tickeron which I just love this website for some reason. I just think it's so cool. So I, I use the free version. I mean, you can mess around and, and uh, you can mess around with it and pay pay for, you know, I'll show you some of the stuff here. Let's see if I can just log in here real quick. Uh, I think I log in with my Google account here. Okay, so. Uh, let me just show you. So free, I just use a free. I'm gonna go over that real quick. But then you can, you know, pay one year. You can get buy and sell recommendations every day. I'm sure they're decent. The AI robots bundle, which is really cool. You definitely, I would go. I'll maybe do a video about these AI ro robots. I've never tried them, but they're cool. I, I can already tell you that if you're willing to pay 90 bucks a month, you probably end, you end up getting your money back pretty fast. Um, AI search, so you can uh, check out these. These will show you patterns that are developing within the market and their different stocks it'll scan for you and it just show you the patterns and you can just go trade them 30 bucks a month prediction engine so here's the trend it's going to just tell you uh what its predictions are based on and this is all ai stuff i'm just such a fan of like computers trying to help me trade because you know they're impartial they're objective and they're good at finding these patterns that we're always looking for anyways um, and then an ai screener with time machine and then Time Machine with AI Screener. The difference here, I looked into this, uh, is you can do a screener for stocks and you can go back in time and run that same screener and see if um, you're coming up with the same kind of stocks for this type of uh, environment we're in. And um, somehow that was beneficial, but I never really saw the value in it, so I'm not really into it. But that's what that is for. So you know, maybe there's some kind of strategy you can build around using this. But I, I, I just way too complicated for me. So real time patterns. So this would be in forex. Real time patterns for stocks, ETFs, real time patterns for crypto. I like that too. Um, and if you if you're a big tra uh, crypto trader, it will just find patterns for you automatically, and just send them to you. So this is kind of cool. I mean, you can basically just say, okay, we got this nice little pattern generated, triangle descending correction it gives you uh, you know how often this is right and you just come in there and you can just trade it so uh, very cool if you know how to trade those kind of things you know with the stop and you know and, and uh, with the right size amount I mean you could probably do pretty well but I like this because it just gives you free scanner and you can just come in here and do a global scanner here and uh, just find some I like this volume leaders up what kind of stuff is leading the, the bunch here. And uh, these are stocks that I'm already in. I didn't find <laughs> these stocks with this. And I find that's pretty, it's pretty common that I'm actually trading stuff that is that shows up at the top of the volume leaders. But uh, Givo obviously ran like crazy yesterday. I didn't know anything about this, but I did see it on the, uh, in my uh, news feed. Something was happening with this. I saw, I think it halted. 
obviously Jeevo, we know about that. I'm in this, you know, I'm waiting for another dip if it even gives it to me, but I got a, I got a small position in there. Uh, Blackberry, I'm, I'm pretty big in. Apple, I got, you know, we talked about Apple in the last video. Neo, we talked about Neo in the last video. Ford, Kramer was pumping that today, so that's, and it's usually got a lot of volume, but it's just cool. So uh, you got several different uh, scans you can do. You got a lot of different options. We'll just look at these. A second, I want to look at these robots here real quick. AI robots. So what's cool about these is um, some really smart people have developed robots to trade for you effectively. You don't. I, I don't think it actually trades for you because I haven't done it yet. But you can pay that ninety bucks. You can follow one robot at a time, and it's going to send you alerts uh, on how to trade, on what to trade, and when to get out. And then it'll even show you its performance here. So um, max open trades is six. Annualized return is 163%. Uh, it started with 10,000. And um, if it's 120, 163%, it's way over 10,000 right now. I don't see where it's actual final. I guess right now it's got an open 1,500. So. I guess, oh, that's the annualized percentage. So right now it's only up 4,800, but still, that's pretty good. Let's look at some of these other ones here. View details. So here's the close trade. So it started with 10,000 and it's closed 37,000 following the trades with this. And maybe I will do this and, and uh, see if it works and do a video about it, but you can see all the different stats on it. Average profit, 281. Average loss, 198. Taking some shorts, some longs. Pretty nice win percentage there, 59%. Right now it's got an open $330. Started with 10K. So you, you just do the math here. You start with 1,000, you're gonna end up with 3,700. You start with 100,000, you're gonna end up with 379,000 and so on and so forth. So uh, really cool, I like this AI robot here. So there's a lot of cool things. You can, there's actually some uh, investing. So you can get an AI portfolio. You can follow along with somebody else's portfolio. So if you got someone who has a pretty decent win, you can just basically go, hey look, I want a piece of this portfolio. This one's free, so you <laughs> don't know why they even make you put a credit. It's probably a scam, but apparently it's free. And uh, the gaming industry, metals. So the Sergey guy has got a lot of portfolios put together. But uh, really cool stuff. Tickeron, very cool website. So two things I wanted to check out. Oh, and then Vantage Point. This uh, software I went over in the other video is. Um, I'm gonna reset this, but it's. Uh, it's quite pricey. I think when I first started trading is when I bought this. I didn't know any better. Uh, am I glad I bought it? Yeah, I am. I use it all the time, and I think it's awesome. Um, it's definitely a, a serious trader's uh, tool. But uh, yesterday we were talking about Netflix when it was here, and I told you that it was predicting like uh, 507 and 500 range here. So it didn't know that this was going to happen. But here's the next prediction with it. Is it saying that uh, 602 is a pivot high, and then um, it's really a prediction high, and then the prediction low is 576. So you can expect Netflix most likely to trade in this range tomorrow. Uh, if it breaks out, then you're looking for you're probably looking for much higher. And then what I like about it is you can catch dips pretty nicely with it because this blue line is really a, a really good support line. And you'll see, I don't know how many times I've seen a stock trade to the tick of these these predictions. And even to the blue line, even to this purple line, I've seen it trade to the tick so many times. You can see it right there, you can see it right there. And then uh, you can add in the predictive predicted high and low. And you'll see where it reacts like pretty much ex like here's a predicted high and low that's what this is it pretty much traded right inside that little channel there so um, I'm a big huge fan of this uh, software but I think what it cost me when I first set it up I think it was two thousand bucks 
to buy this and and it's 500 bucks a year just to have the data sent in and every night it, re it it's going to give you only data uh, for dailies so you're only going to get a daily prediction and then it works with all kinds of like I only have you can get cannabis stocks biotech stocks these are kind of what I'm focusing on what I really like about it is uh, you can go to uh, you can do a screener so here's my bio stocks and cannabis stocks that I like but let's just do a screener here for bio stocks which is hot right now so here's here's the screener for bio stocks for today and then you can open all the charts up so it, it came up with what 11 11 out of 70 that were all you know all was a, a medium term was up short term was up medium up long term up predicted range up the neural index was up neural strength was up so these are the only stocks out of all 70 that it scanned that everything was up so these are the only ones I'm gonna look at and we can already see this the stock looks pretty freaking awesome so I mean it's come from 43 and it hasn't stopped so you know that's uh you know that's a huge say you bought it here right just pretend you're, you're not perfect and you sell here 500 shares is 4600 bucks if you're crazy and you got 5000 shares of this you just made $46,000 in 43 days so pretty nice there I'm just gonna keep going here and just look at some of these this is kinda what I do every night I just look at these stocks so here's a decent one don't really like it because of this but uh, med space not a big fan of that anyways so on and so forth really cool so you can do that with any of them let's open up the cannabis scan see if there's anything good in cannabis Kush bottles general cannabis so I, I again you know you're just pulling up only cannabis stocks and Kush bottles looking pretty nice I was actually gonna buy this the other day and I wish I would have because I was gonna buy it around here but it's still viable right uh, general cannabis nice little penny stock for you arrow I mean I don't like the way this chart looks so I just get rid of that you know so on and so forth so um, really cool AI tools to use to uh, to uh, come up with ideas or find levels and to trade with um, and then obviously I just really just use uh, trading view another thing I do sorry to take so long here but um, I this discord chat that I use is uh, Atlas trading group I'm sure a lot of you have heard of it but uh, huge fan of it because man these guys they really are are professionals at trading so uh, you got um, a trading floor with uh, some really good traders in here so I really just kind of keep this open and I'm just watching these guys and kind of stuff that they're trading so I, I made some money off of AMC because of them I just made some money off of uh, what was it uh, I mean I made some money off of a lot of stuff with them I don't every time I buy something with them it's like I make money with it it seems like so uh, and I'm in I'm in on GHIV because of them. I made money with IPOC. Uh, I made money with uh, with what was the most recent one that just went insane? Um, Sense and SEN SENS Sensonic. That was because of them. So they make some really good calls. Uh, so I like the main reason I like them is because they've got 200,000 followers, and when these guys call out a trade. Uh, you know, you got two, you got a potentially two hundred thousand people that are going to go buy it. So, you can just ride the wave, and and I don't think they're pumping dumpers. I just think it's just a, a nice uh, way to follow the money, right? The smart money. So these guys are buying these these little cheapy stocks and and riding them. So I like Atlas Trading Group because it's free. So go join that. It's really cool. Uh, if you ever heard of Mr. Zach Morris or PJ Matlock. Um, and then the uh, pennies going in raw podcast it's all from this atlas trading group uh, so those are really cool um, well, what else what else do I do I'll show you guys my tweet deck here I'm part of this other uh, this is kind of how I set up my tweet deck 
for stuff. So there's some guys I follow. I follow this guy named Jay Striz, which is like, uh, I guess he's just, it's basically like a version of TikTok, who is a, yeah, a SPX trader. I obviously follow Sam. And I just, you know, this stuff just updates as soon as they tweet something. I'm part of this little uh, trading group called Ducks, Duck Squad. Uh, so he, he's a really good uh, options flow guy that he's good at following trends and stuff. And then we got Zach Morris. And then we got this guy, Anthony O'Hyan. Uh He runs the podcast called uh, Pounding the Table, which if you're not listening to, you must, because he's the one that called EH from $8. He was down buying it here. And this is one of like hundreds of calls that he's made. He was buying Futu. He was buying Futu down here. I think actually he was buying Futu here, to be completely honest with you. So he's the one that called Tiger. He was calling Tiger here. Uh, he's the one that called, he made a call of Tesla when it was sub 200, that it was going to 4,000. He said actually 10,000. He called Skills. And a lot of people called Skills, but he was the one really pounding the table on it. Um, this guy's a beast. So if you're not following him, uh, these two guys are just incredible. Zach Morris and Anthony. And then he's really good at kind of knowing when the market's going to turn. And then Sam just, he gives you so much free info. Look at it. He's putting at Netflix 632 possible. NVIDIA is a trade at 557. <laughs> Buy wifey a new car. 593 comes. No reason to negotiate. That's funny. And uh, so he's a funny guy to follow. Um, so this is kind of my setup, essentially. Um, looking at trades for AI and in, in the AI systems just for fun, for my own kind of stuff. And then I'm following these guys, seeing what they're playing. I'm watching my duck squad here, seeing what he's playing. It's kind of how I come up with my ideas. Uh, and, uh, and then I've got my own kind of charting system that I, that I do that I like. Uh, anyways, hope this helps you guys. Uh, leave a like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter.